We're sorry. The number you have dialed. Deadbeat. Junior! This guy's dodging us! We need to bring in the debt collector! You're a hard man to get a hold of, Scott. Oh, what do you mean? Don't know how to answer your phone? I never got any messages from you guys. I'm a liar! What do you, I'd be gladly to pay any bill or take care of anything Oh, I yeah, could. you're going to pay all right. We're here to collect. Oh, yeah, it's oh, too late for that! When somebody calls you at 555-2407, you'll answer your phone. My number is 2408. 2408. Let's go! My office is ruined. Today's how-to is going to be on a valve job, which is what I did to Scott's mower was a valve job. Oh, do you notice my shirt? This came from one of my YouTube subscribers, Dean Jones. No, not the actor Dean Jones in the Love Bug movies. Dean Jones from Shropshire, England. Cheers, mate. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a valve job on one of these flathead motors. I already took the head off. Here's the valves, and here's the keepers that keep it in place. I just grabbed this junk engine out in the junkyard to do this on. So, to see if you need to do a valve job, one thing you can do is see if you could spin the valves with your finger. That'll tell you that they're not sealing or you don't have the proper clearance. These ain't spinning. So what you want to do is pop these keepers off. You can do it with a screwdriver. There's one. And there's the other one. Then pull the valves out. Well, let me spin this one over. This one's a little sticky. Then I'm going to take them over to the wire wheel and clean them up. We're going to look at the faces of these valves. I'm gonna buff this up, clean this too. Alright, see I buffed up these valves. See that one's got a little groove in it? And this one's a little pitted over here. So you can take these to an auto parts store that has a machine shop and they can put new faces on there or you can buy new valves. I'm fortunate enough I have a machine I can grind new faces on there so I'm gonna grind new faces on them and make them look nice and pretty. I got them all resurfaced, all nice and smooth. Some of these are at different angles, but that shouldn't concern you because the guy at the auto parts store, he's, he's gonna know what angle they're at. But if you wanna know, this one's at 45 and this one's at 30 
on this particular Briggs engine. So all these flathead engine valve jobs are the same. So we're just showing you how to do a valve job. And another little trick I learned, for cleaning the seat, take a piece of emery paper, and I see how I tore it? And you could stick it on like this. You could stick it down in here. Get it to close. And you can, you can, Clean that seat. See? Make it all nice and shiny and pretty. And you can do the same on the exhaust. Put the valves in. Piston, both valves closed. Piston top dead center. Now you gotta check your clearance in here. You gotta have clearance between the tappet and the valve. Now on this motor, six on the intake, 10 on the exhaust. I know on uh, Tecumseh engines, uh, it's 10 and 10. So you're gonna have to check what your valve clearance is gonna be. So since we ground on these valves and took material off, it's gonna sit down farther. So we're probably gonna have to yeah, see, this isn't slipping in there. So all you do is you just take it on the bench grinder and just as you spin it on the side of the wheel and just grind a little bit off and then just keep checking it because you don't want to get too much clearance in there. You want 10. Another trick is use 8,000 feeler gauge. And then when the 8 fits in there loose, chances are you're at 10. So I'm going to show you real quick on how we do this. You just take it on the grinder and spin it. Try to hold it as square as you can. Take a little bit off. See, I'm lightly, lightly doing it. Then go back and try it, and then do it and try it until you get the right clearance. All right, I ground the, the bottom of the stem. See, there's six thousandths. Here's ten thousandths. Now, if you put new valves in, you're gonna have to grind the stem. All right, now that's done. Now the next step is gonna be lapping them in, and that's where you're gonna need this suction cup tool and some lapping compound. Oh, the suction cup didn't hold very well, did it? Put a little dab, lapping compound on there. Go around the face. And what I do is I kind of do this, and then you go back and forth as you're pushing down on it. And then I always give it a little that gets a little more compound on it. And you gotta want to make sure you're gonna clean all that compound off real good. Take some brake cleaner or some carb spray, clean it off real good. Otherwise, you'll just lap that valve to death. All right, on these flathead motors, most of these keepers are like this. It just goes through here and locks in. They call this like a keyhole. Looks like a keyhole, like stick key in there. That's how, you, that's how it locks in. So you put it on the spring. You put the spring in the tool. Got adjustments on it so you can adjust the width with these little things here. Line it up like that. Tighten her down. And then you're just gonna stick it in. Go through the hole. Gotta find it. Come on. And just pull back on it. See how I did that? Took a little bit. Then you just do the same to the other side. 
All right, I got the valves back in. So the next thing would be to put the valve cover back on, get a new gasket, and put the head on with a new head gasket. But I want to talk about the overhead valve motor. Basically, you're doing the same thing, valve job. It's just an overhead valve. You just don't have to grind the, the end of the stem because you get your adjustment through this, through the tappet. This is how you adjust the valve clearance. But to take these heads apart, you usually need one of these tools to get that off. If you got the kind of valve that's got the little keepers on it. But if you don't, these Briggs heads are real easy. You don't even need this tool. All you need is a socket. Because these springs, in my opinion, they should be stronger. That's why these valves, you have a lot of valve problems with these Briggs engines. These springs aren't real tough. Watch. Put a socket down to hold the valve and watch. I can just push that off with my fingers. And I can put it back on. I just use that socket to hold the valve. See how easy that is? You don't even need this. But on a crawler engine, you got those little keepers in there, and them springs are tougher. So yeah, take these valves apart. All you need is a socket. And just remember, Black Scott, we did the valve job. Pay your bill. Now there's your dinner.